Alright friends, hi and welcome back to another Phonics Fun video. Phonics Fun is all about us learning new word sounds or new words to help us improve our reading and writing. Today we're going to be focused on something called possessive nouns. So, if you remember from the previous two videos, I mentioned that nouns are basically naming words. And I mentioned that everything in our world has a name and it makes it much easier for us, for us to talk to each other. So, for example, um, I wouldn't just call um, this thing that's holding all my stuff here with four legs under it a thing. I would call it a table. Um, just to give an example. So then what are possessive nouns? So these are nouns we use to show when someone owns something. So the word possessive means to own or to have. So here's an example. So here I have the sentence, Maria has a bike. So notice I underlined the noun in the sentence um, that owns something. And in this case, it's Maria. So there's two ways that I can actually show ownership or possessive nouns. I can either change the noun or the, um, in this case, her name to a possessive noun. So I changed the sentence to say, the bike is hers, or I could add an apostrophe and an S to the noun's name. And that'll also show me um, that that noun owns something else in the sentence. Okay, so here we have a whole list of what we would call possessive nouns. So these are the nouns that you would use, again, to show that one noun in the sentence owns something else or is showing ownership. So these are what you would use oftentimes to change um, your, to change your, um, proper nouns and turn them into possessive nouns. You can also do the same with something called pronouns. So these are our common nouns here, the I, the you, the he. They don't exactly tell us who, they're not as specific. So here are the possessive nouns. If I wanted to say I have, I would change it to mine or my. If I wanted to say you have, I might change it to yours. If I'm talking about he has something, I would change it to his. If she has something, I would change it to hers. If we have something, I would change it to ours. And if they have something, I would use the possessive noun their or theirs. Okay, so that was one way we can show that a noun owns something. But we can also use our second rule, which is to add an apostrophe and an S. This little dash you're seeing here is what we would call an apostrophe. You're often going to try to write it at the top of the line. So here's my sentence. John has a house. So to show that John owns something, I'm going to change it this time to John's house. So notice I took that noun that was showing ownership or the noun that has something and I just added an apostrophe and an S. Now I know the house is John's. Okay, so in just a second, we're gonna play a little game where I will give you a sentence and your job will be to change the, the noun that is showing ownership 
in that sentence and you can change it into the apostrophe s rule and or you're going to change it into the possessive noun so here's just an example so let's say my sentence said my fish has a tank now even though there's two nouns here fish and tank i'm thinking to myself hmm which noun in that sentence has something or owns something else in this case it's the fish so that tells me that that's the noun i'm going to change to um, show that it's possessive so the first way remember we just went over this is i can add an apostrophe and an s so now the sentence reads my fish's tank the second way to do so is to use a possessive noun. So, the second sentence reads, his tank. Now, in this case, my fish happens to be a guy. If it were a girl fish, I would use her instead of his. So again, apostrophe S and or. You're going to change that noun that shows ownership into a possessive noun. So with each sentence, really important, I want you to think, whose is it? Or, which noun has something? First sentence. So this is your first one. The cat has a paw. The cat has a paw. How can I change the sentence to show possessive nouns? All right, time's up. Okay, so the cat has a paw. So the first way I could show possession or ownership is I could change it to the cat's paw. Notice the apostrophe and the S. The second way I can show possession or ownership is I could change the cat or cat in this case, to her, and just say it's her paw. But again, in this case, that's if my cat is a girl. If it were a boy, I would say his paw. Let's keep going. Next sentence says, that book belongs to Sierra. That book belongs to Sierra. So I really need you to think for this one. Which noun owns something? What noun in this sentence owns something? How can I change it to show possession or owning? Time's up. So let's see which noun was showing ownership and how we could write the sentence differently so that we can use our possessive nouns. Okay, so in this case, even though we had two nouns, book, which is the thing noun, and Sierra, which is a person noun, Sierra is the noun in this sentence that owns something else. In this case, she owns that book. Let's see how we show possession in our writing. So one way, I'm noticing the apostrophe S rule. That is Sierra's book. So I'm copying her name and I'm writing 
I'm adding to it, apostrophe S. That way I know it's hers. Our second way is to use a possessive noun instead of her name. So in this case, we said it's her book. That also works too. All right, next one. We have a box. We have a box. So how can I change the sentence to show ownership? Which noun owns something else? Time's up. All right, let's see how you did. Okay, so the noun in this case that was showing ownership or that had something else in this sentence was the noun we. This meaning myself and a few other or one other person. Now, let's see how we would use our possessive nouns in this case. Ooh, so sentence one, notice that I crossed it out already. And that's because we can't actually use this rule for this word. But I wrote it anyway, just so you could see how silly it looks. So sentence one, using the apostrophe S rule, reads, that is we's box. Okay, that just sounds silly. <laughs> and a lot of you already know from um, just talking to friends and talking in every day that that doesn't make sense. That's not a word we would use. So that means we're left with our second option to show possessive and that's to use a possessive noun. So in this case, we change we to our. So it's our box. Right, next one. The class has a pet. Which noun owns something else? And how can I make it possessive in my writing? All right, loves, time's up. Let's see how you did. So again, the class has a pet. So in this case, my noun that owns something else or has something else is the word class. So sentence one, remember my first way to show possession in my writing or ownership is to use that apostrophe S rule. So this sentence reads, that is the class's pet. That's one way. Let's read the second way. So in this case, again, we're using a possessive noun instead. So instead of saying class or class's pet, we just say their pet. And that also works too. All right, last one. Susie, Allie, and Joe have a treehouse. Ooh, so now we have a lot more nouns in here. Let's see how you do. So again, you're going to choose the noun or nouns that have or own something. Then you're going to change them to show possession in your writing. You got this. See how you did. So, the sentence again reads, Susie, Allie, and Joe have a treehouse. 
Okay, the first way that we can show possession or ownership is again using that apostrophe S rule. So here, um, we just took all of the nouns that owned something. In this case, it was three different friends, Susie, Allie, and Joe. But in our last friend's name, we just added that apostrophe S. So anyway, you can write it and still keep your proper or specific nouns. Another way you could write it is to change those proper nouns to a possessive noun. So instead of using all of their names, I just changed it to their treehouse. All right, challenge time. So here's what I want you to do. First thing you're gonna do, so you're gonna write five people nouns and five animal nouns. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to write the possessive nouns for each one. So here's a little reminder of how to show possessive nouns. So remember, you can always change to a possessive noun. So again, I would change to mine or my, you to yours, he has would be his, she has would be hers, we have ours and they have their or theirs. And remember our last rule is adding that apostrophe S to the noun that has something or owns something in the sentence. All right, I can't wait to see what amazing sentences and possessive noun work you're gonna come up with. And thank you so much for watching. If you would like extra practice, so after you do this challenge, what you can do is check out the video I've linked in the description box.